are backstage at Ultimate Brawl 2011. We got one of the performers, my man, Victor Kim. What's up, man? What's up? What's up, what's up? All right, so you performed right before your homie, Andrew Garcia. Um, do you like performing at dance events? Because it's such more like energy, I feel, than a, you know, like a music show. Yeah, well, you know, actually, I was judging too, so yeah, it was kind of like true. just an all-inclusive event for me, but you know, it's really cool because the dance community is where I first started a lot of stuff, and uh, to be able to share a different uh, passion of mine uh, being music, you know, it's really cool to, to, uh, to do that as well, you know. Because it's like everyone, I've been dancing in this community, and I kind of came up in, this, in, the, in the circuit, so it's cool to like, be like, hey, I, I do this too, yeah. you know, and people hopefully like it, you know, so. And what do you look for as a judge? Because you judged here tonight, we saw some amazing crews. What do you personally look for? What, what grabs you to make them win? Uh, well, I mean, uh, Common Ground won tonight, and they were absolutely amazing. I, they, that was my vote. And honestly, uh, to me, I think dance is not necessarily about how clean you are or your styles or, you know, all the details. You know, that's very important, but I yeah. think the feeling and the energy that you give and you emit from the stage is what... Uh, is important, you know. I mean, like the uh, the energy and like the sensation of of watching people um, kill it, you know. Yeah. So I mean, I don't. Know, to me, it was it was clear, you know. Everyone was everyone was really good, but they uh, they had that uh, that uh, that extra something, that pizzazz factor, that you know. Because yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. everyone was everyone here is an amazing dancer, you know. Yeah. And but I don't know. If, for some reason, they uh, they just they did it for me. You know? yeah. when, are, when are we gonna get a Victor Kim CD? Oh, uh, you know I'm uh, working on some stuff right now. Me and Andrew actually uh, have a song that we're working on that we're okay, really excited. Cool. Uh, we're gonna get. I might be getting ahead of myself here, but we're probably gonna have a, a traffic Timothy De La Ghetto okay, and Dumbfounded cool. do some stuff on there, and uh, we're really excited. You know. All right, so I got to introduce you to one of our new correspondents because she actually saw you. Jump in. She actually saw you. You got to talk about it. You were at the Asian Film Festival last night to support your fam, uh, Wong Fu Productions. So what was it like? She was there. She was covering for Pacific Rim. Introduce yourself. Corinne Siakunko, hello. <laughs> so, so you guys both got to go too. Yes. The amazing Wong Fu. But tell us, you know, what was the experience like? What was the vibe like in the room? It was, what was your favorite part? Hold on, yeah. hold on. Wait, which question first? <laughs> What, what was the vibe like, and what, what you know, what were most people there to see, and what was Wong Fu like? Um, I mean, it was great. It was it was such an amazing venue. Uh, it was like, was it the Guild Theater or something like that? Yeah, it was beautiful. But um, it was just really cool because Kevin, my roommate, Kev Jumba, as you may know, uh, he he was like, hey, I'm speaking at this panel for Wong Fu. You want to come? I'm like, yeah, sure. And uh, I didn't know it was going to be to that scale. You know, people there was like hundreds of people, and the place was filled and. It was a it was a really inspiring event, you know. Yeah. yeah. And you said. What was your favorite part of the night? Um. Hmm. There's just so many that I can't. Uh. Well, the angry Asian man party afterwards was a lot of fun. So. Uh, you know, got down a little bit with uh, Jet Li from Poriotics. Shout out to to my brothers. And uh, yeah. I hung out this one, so I guess it was okay, I, I guess. I was stuck with him. It was, <laughs> it was the worst. The worst. I, I couldn't so get rid of her. It yep. was weird. I said he wouldn't leave. I don't know. Mm. Just kidding, kidding. <laughs> you watching ABDC? You watching this season? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I haven't seen um, too many of the recent episodes. There's only three or something. I haven't seen the recent episode. Yeah. Uh, but I heard Request got kicked off, right? Quest? Wait, Request? Oh, Request. <laughs> Did not air yet? Yeah, yeah, it did. No, no, no. I thought you said Quest got kicked off. I was like, no, you guys won. Yeah, yeah. Request. Sorry, Request. Yeah, Request got kicked if, if off, which... Guys, if Request ever sees this, I don't know what happened. You guys yeah. were one of my favorites, and I thought you guys would be at least top two. Yeah. So I don't know... Mario Lopez. I don't know. <laughs> it's Mario's fault. It's Mario's fault. It is. But who are you rooting for? Is there any crew that you're really, really feeling right well, now? Well, I mean, uh, you know, my homies in uh, I Am Me, you know, yeah. the, the brothers Pac and Moon. So best of luck. I just talked to them actually uh, not too long ago, and I, uh, I, hope, I hope that they win, you know. Yeah. But, I mean, everyone's good, like, obviously, yeah. you know. Everyone's dope. I thought I thought really I am me and requests were going to be top three, so. I thought so, too. So, I mean, I, don't, I have no idea what's, what's going on. Dietrichs, man. What you, what's up? <laughs> Dietrichs' is fault. No, he's, okay. he's my neighbor. He's like one of the... Yeah. You know. All right. Victor Kim, 2011. Ultimate Brawl. Cute. Cute. <laughs> <laughs>